So I don't know how old you are, right? But I can just say that some of the cells you're born with are not the cells that you currently have. Simply because the cells in your body go through a reshuffling process. They live, they die off, they are replaced by other cells. Those cells leave, die off, replaced, you know, and just continues, including the cells, you know, almost everywhere in your body. Now, some cells might get another signal. Some cells can change something, one code inside, and they just believe, oh no, we're not going to die anymore. And we're just going to keep dividing and growing and invading other cells. And this is the foundation for almost everything called cancers and tumors. But there are two types, you know. Sometimes not every growth in your body is cancerous or malignant. Some cells benign, you know, like fibroids, for instance, they divide very slowly and take a long period of time. Cancerous cells divide very fast, take a short period of time. Benign cells usually stay within their capsule. Malignant cancers spread into other parts of the body, right? And, you know, one can lead to death. Others usually don't. Now, that's one medical condition that has outsmarted anybody. As a matter of fact, you can know someone, as if you're watching this video, I'm sure you know someone either around you or your friend who has been affected by cancer. But before we go ahead in this video, please subscribe to the channel, share to everyone you know, tell them to come and watch this because it just might save a life. So here are nine things that can place you at risk of developing cancer. Number one, genetics. Look, you can't change this. You can inherit particular genes from your parents. Things like colon cancer, ovarian cancer can be passed down through genetics simply because of a code somewhere. So it's important to know your family history because it can tell you whether or not you have a higher risk of developing cancer. This knowledge can help you catch the disease in its early stages when it is easier to treat. So after this video, here's what I expect you to do. I want you to go speak to your doctor, especially if your parents or family members have a family history of this disease, either currently now or they've been formally diagnosed with one of those cancers. Number two, smoking, tobacco. See, eh? you need to understand that tobacco is literally involved in everything bad that happens in your body. There's no benefit of smoking. In fact, it's one of the leading causes of cancer and can cause lung cancer, throat cancer, mouth cancer, and other types of cancer. As a matter of fact, if you mention any cancer right now, I'm pretty sure there's a way you can imp implicate tobacco in it because it contains harmful carcinogens. And what does the carcinogens do? They go into the cell and damage DNA. Remember that code I talked about? Cancer. There's also no safe level of tobacco use. So if you use any type of tobacco product, I strongly urge you to quit. Stop. If you want help, go talk to your doctor. Number three, diets. Look, the kind of food you eat, especially those that are high in processed food, red meat, sugar, trans fat, can increase your risk of developing different types of cancers, particularly colorectal cancer, and stomach cancer. You can reduce your risk by eating a balanced diet with vegetables, lean proteins, white meats, whole grains, you know, sort of what we call a Mediterranean diet. Number four, lack of exercise. Look, this does not directly cause cancer, right? But it can contribute to obesity, which increases your risk of developing cancers. For example, breast cancer, colon cancer, and some other kinds. Exercise has numerous health benefits, including improved immune system, reduced inflammation, and this reduces your risk of even developing other things like heart disease. So I want you to tell me in the comment section which exercise you do that helps you keep fit so that others can try it also. You know, you teach yourself, teach yourself inside the comment section. Number five, alcohol, shekwe, whatever it's called. You need to understand that excessive alcohol consumption may contribute to a variety of different cancers, like cancer of the mouth, cancer of the throat, cancer of the esophagus, cancer of the larynx, which is where, as I'm speaking now, you can hear me because my larynx is working, liver and breasts. You, the higher you drink, the higher your risk. The risk of cancer is even higher for those who drink alcohol and also use tobacco. Hope you've heard now. There's also no safe level of alcohol use. Number six, radiation. Your cells can be damaged by exposure to high levels of radiation. And I'm not talking about your phone radiation, right? Common sources, the sun, for instance, UVA, UVBs, if you're consistently exposed to this, it can cause skin aging, skin damage that can lead to skin cancer. Sometimes x-rays also, some other gamma rays, bit better, you know, you understand what I'm talking about. So limit your exposure to radiation. If you walk in an area where there's a lot of radiation, please protect yourself. If you're outside, please wear sunscreen. Number seven, air pollution. Look, this one has been linked with different kinds of cancers, especially if you live in a city like Lagos. Lung cancer, breast cancer, liver cancer, air pollution is the most common in areas where, number one, you have high amount of motor vehicle exhausts. Number two, you stay in an area where trash is currently burned or you're burning fuel or there's even heavy smoke from wildfires. If you stay in all of these areas, please 
protect yourself by wearing an N95 mask if you're staying outside or the normal face mask at least so that you don't have to be in these places and do not stand in these places for long. Infections. Look, certain infectious agents, viruses, bacteria, parasites can cause the cells of the, you know, the cells to change and, you know, might cause cancer. An example is hepatitis B and C, herb human papilloma virus that can cause cervical or vaginal cancer and liver cancer. Some of these viruses, you know, if they're treated early, can prevent cancer, but if they are not, and you also need to understand that it's transmissible and you can lower your risk of this disease, especially hepatitis and HPV by being vaccinated and protecting, you know, limiting the number of sexual partners you have. Don't share needles, don't share shops, just limit your exposure. Number nine, age. This is something you can't change. As you get older, the cells in your body are more likely to develop mutations. Remember those colds I talk about that may cause cancer. For example, the National Cancer Institute has found that the median age for diagnosis of breast cancer, lung cancer, prostate cancer are about 62 years, 71 years, and 66 years respectively. But you know what? You need to know that cancer can occur at any age and the risk can be reduced by making healthy lifestyle choices that you start now. So I'm sure you've learned a lot from this video and if you think that someone will benefit from it, please send it to them. I'll see you in the next one.